222 Productions presents The Mercury Laboratories. We now continue with test one. In stage two, they will have a minute 25 to make it through the balance pole, and then swing the way across the executioner. Then they have to jump on top of Satan's cross and jump across. And then they have to travel on the lone bar, which is a single bar that must travel across. And then finally, the pillar's cap. Make her across the first three, swing around the final one, and then hit the button in time. First is test subject number 22. Let's see how he does on stage 2. And he begins on the balance pool. Gets on top of the first one. And on step down. Gets on the second one very nicely. He jumps, grabs the first bar, and two hand jumps to the second bar. Saving him a little bit of time. Now he swings his body, jumps, lands nicely. Now into Devil's Cross. Going hers has to come at a little bit of a disadvantage, but he's making it look like he's done this before. He's now up to lone bar, using his abdomen to stay on top, sliding his way across. Lots of time still left on the clock. But, oh, oh, barely holds on. No penalty though. Now on the pillar path. Lots of time still left on the clock as he makes his way across. He goes, he grabs on to the final, swings across, and hits the button in time. No penalties, 23 seconds left on the clock, he moves on. Alright, up next, number 17. He did well in stage 1, let's see how he does in stage 2. And he goes. He gets up the bounce pole. And he jumps over the second pole, doesn't bother. Executioner grabs the second bar, swings across immediately, using his height to his advantage, and which should mean he should be able to get on top of this, but he just can't, and oh! Oh, he jumps and decides to straddle it. Oh, and I, I've been told that he actually broke a piece of the beam off. Oh, and he doesn't even make the jump. After all that, he doesn't even make the jump. Bar. Now using his legs and his arms, a inverted stance makes it across very quickly, but how is he going to get to the safety zone? Can he hold? No, he cannot. That's another five seconds. On the pillar path, making his way across. Holding his bounce, almost losing it. Makes his way across the final beam. And he presses the button, and with a 10 second penalty, he barely has enough time to make it across, but he still moves on the final stage. Alright, up next is number 55. Let's see how he does. Have a little trouble on stage 1. Hopefully, he'll able to make it up in stage 2. He also jumps the lower bar. Does a, doesn't really have to jump because of its height. But he seems to be having a little trouble with swing. Can't really get the momentum going. Oh, and he couldn't make it. Five second penalty right there. And he too is not going to stand on it. It looks like he's sliding across on his butt. I don't find it odd how the two taller people couldn't get up a high ledge. Very weird. But how's he gonna bridge the gap then? Oh, he can't. Now he makes his way around, onto the lone bar, sliding his way across. Can he do it? Adam must be killing him. Now, he goes, he makes it to the safety zone, he's gonna have to hurry. Clock ticks down and moves along the pillar path. On the second one, the third one, has to swing around the fourth. Time sticking down, he goes, he lands, he hits the button, but unfortunately, with too many penalties, he has been eliminated. Now our final test subject for stage 2 is number 8. 
see how she does. She was the only one who could get penalty in the first day. Makes her way across. Comes across the balance pole, almost losing it. Grabs the first bar, transfers the second one, and immediately swings and jumps. Very nice. And gets on top of the devil's cross. I'm going to repeat what I said earlier. And we find it weird how the taller people couldn't get on top of that, but the shorter two could. Makes the jump beautifully. Now makes her way onto the lone bar. How she do it? Oh, oh, using her hands, not her abdomen. Getting across very quickly. She is tearing this stage apart. And does a nice back jump. Plenty of time left, no penalties. She would have to drop dead in order not to pass this stage. Swings around. She goes, hits the bunny, and with the best time, she moves on to the final stage. Even though we lost one test subject in the form of number 55, three of our four managed to pass stage two and move on to the third and final stage of our escape. First, number 22 in the press, moved on with 23 seconds left, then number 17 barely survived with three seconds left. And number 8 proves that she is the best with 27.3. Now, what awaits them is the final stage. One final dash. Who will win, if anyone? Stay tuned.